Let's begin in child's pose. Okay, so this practice today, we're gonna focus on activating our core muscles. And we're gonna do a few different core workouts. And then we'll work in some flow and some standing poses. So as I'm always mentioning, our core is affected by our hips and our glutes, how we work the muscles there. And, and then it's not just like your six pack, but it's the muscles that wrap around and it's the muscles of your spine. So we're gonna do a few things that incorporate your core. So stretch back into down dog now. And then walk your hands all the way back to your feet and fold forward at the back of your mat. Then bring your hands to your hips and come up to stand. And you're gonna take your block and put it right in between your thighs, like so. Okay, so this block is gonna make sure that you hold your thighs in a neutral position. You don't want your thighs turned out or turned in, but you wanna feel like the whole inner thigh feels even on the block, and that if you look down, all four corners of your knees point straight ahead. So holding the block is gonna work the abductors in your legs, and it's also gonna make sure that you keep your thighs in neutral while we do this modified sun salutation. So bring your hands to prayer position, close your eyes, take a breath in through the nose, and let it out. Then open your eyes and reach your arms up. And exhale, fold forward. As you inhale, make a flat back. And then walk your hands out one hand print at a time into plank pose. Nice, nice little foot wiggle there. Okay, so once you get into your plank, feel long uh, through your spine. Press down in between your big toe mount and second toe mount and lift up on your inner thighs. You squeeze on the block, reach the sides of your chest forward. Nice. Then stretch back to down dog and walk your hands back to your feet. One hand print at a time. Inhale, make a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Press down into your feet. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Raise your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Two more sun salutations like that. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, Arda, flat back. Walk your hands out, one hand print at a time. Hold in your plank, squeeze in on the block, open up your chest. Now let's add on this round. Lift your right leg just a centimeter. Keep the squeeze on the block. Change legs, left leg up. I don't know why I'm doing it too. I feel like I have to do it when I... Okay, then set that foot back down and then stretch back into down dog and walk your hands one hand print at a time all the way back to your feet. Inhale, flat back, lengthen out. Exhale, fold forward, all the air out. Press down into your feet. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, raise your arms. Exhale, hands to your heart. All right, one more. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, Arda, flat back. Walk your hands out, one hand print at a time. Try not to wiggle side to side. Good. Then hold there and lift the left leg, just one inch. Stay long through the midline. Good, change legs, right leg up just an inch. Nice. Now set that foot down, shift forward and lower slowly to elbow height. Lift back up and then lie down onto your belly. Okay, point your toes back and come into Cobra. So this block, this is like an excellent tool to feel how the thighs should be when you're holding in Cobra or an up dog. Mostly we tend to like bite the backs of the legs in towards each other. So in this position, feel the fronts of the thighs turn towards the block. Good. Then roll yourself into up dog. Inhale, come up. And exhale, stretch back to down dog. All right, then walk your hands one hand print at a time all the way back to your feet. Move the block out to the side. Bring your hands onto your hips and come up to stand. 
Then sit back into chair pose with your arms forward. Nice. So still get that feeling like you're squeezing in with the block as you draw your navel up. And then raise your arms all the way up to the ceiling. And fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Walk yourself back out into plank. Good, then in plank pose, roll onto the outside edge of your left foot, come into side plank. Five breaths here. Change sides, right hand down, left arm up. Then left arm down, stretch back to down dog. Shift into plank pose, one more time. All right, last part of this little core warm up. Bring your right knee up towards your left armpit and pull it up high and then stretch back into plank. Bring your left knee up to your right armpit, pull it up high and stretch it back to plank. Right knee up to left armpit, pull it up, back to plank. Left knee up to right armpit, pull it up, stretch it back. Good, stretch back to down dog. Then step your right foot up to your right thumb and look down at your right knee. Make sure that your right knee is tracking straight ahead. It wants to twist in, the hip will want to twist out. So track your right ankle, knee, hip, and then come on up into crescent. Raise your arms up. Good. All right, now take your arms forward, straight out in front of you. Put a little bend in your back knee and feel that your tailbone can lengthen, but without starting to tuck your pelvis. Now keeping the tip of the tail lengthening towards the floor, start to stretch your back leg and raise your arms all the way up overhead. Turn from your outer arms forward. Feel the back of the neck can spread. Then see if you can lunge a little bit deeper so your knee comes right over your ankle. Bring your hands back down to the mat. Step back to down dog. Change sides. Step your left foot all the way up to your left thumb. Track your knee with your ankle and your hip. Then come on up into crescent, arms up. Take your arms forward, straight out in front. Hold there. Put a little bend in your back knee and let the tail lengthen, but without leaning your trunk back. Still keep your ribs right over your hips. And then start to stretch that back leg and lunge a little deeper so the knee is over the ankle. Raise your arms up. Bring your hands back down to the mat and step back to down dog. Let's do one B salutation. Bend your knees and look forward. Step, walk, or hop up to the front of your mat. Inhale, Arda, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, sit your hips back, and come all the way up to stand. Sun salutation B, inhale into chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, Arda, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your right foot, warrior one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your left foot, warrior one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Good, hold in your down dog and breathe.
Then step your right foot all the way up in the middle of your hands. Turn your back heel down onto the mat and put your right hand onto the inside of your foot. Take your left arm up. So start to turn your right thigh out again so that it's tracking with your ankle and your hip. And as you stretch through your back leg, lift from the sides of your chest away from your hips. Now internally rotate your left arm and wrap it behind your back. Roll your left shoulder back. Then take that arm back up. Press down through your feet and come into warrior two. Open up the left side of your chest to the reach of your left arm. Spread your back foot, open your back foot into the mat. And now see if you can lunge maybe a little bit deeper so your knee starts to come over your ankle. Then straighten your right leg, turn your right inner upper thigh forward and reach out for triangle pose. As you keep turning that thigh, open up like your back was up against the wall. Press your shoulder blades in. Spread from your collarbones into your index fingers. All right, then bring your left hand back down to the mat. Spin your back heel up and step back to down dog or take a vinyasa. Other side. Step your left foot all the way up in the middle of your hands, turn your back heel down. Put your left hand onto the inside of your foot and take your right arm up. So come up high enough so you can feel that the chest opens up and your spine gets long, you're not rounded over at all. Then internally rotate your right arm and wrap it behind your back. So let's go for the half bind today. And as you hold in the half bind, start to roll the shoulder head back as the chest starts to open. Feel it's like your right shoulder blade is starting to burrow into your back, onto your back. Then take your arm back up. Stay low here and come into warrior two. And as you hold in warrior two, open the right chest to the reach of the right arm. Grow tall through all four sides of your waist. And let the head balance right up on top of the spine. Then start to straighten your left leg and rotate that left inner upper thigh forward as you start to reach out. Put your hand down where you like for triangle, shin, ankle, block floor. And feel as your left hip engages that you can open up the front of your pelvis even more. Bring your right hand back down and step back to down dog or take a vinyasa. Then step your right foot up to your right thumb. Hug your right hip in and float your arms back behind you. Just hover your chest above your knee. Hold here, turn your thumbs out. Feel the muscles in your back turn on. Turn the inner arms to the outer arms. Let the right hip release back. Now keep all this length in the activity through your back leg and step into warrior one. Three, which one? <laughs> warrior three, seven to warrior three. So these step in a warrior three, turn your left pinky toe down towards the floor, level your hips. Just want to make sure you're paying attention at home there. And feel your weight even across your right foot.
Two more breaths here. Now without your left foot touching the floor, come up to stand, bring your knee up and take your arms up. Good. Then bend your right knee and wrap your left leg up and over your right. Cross your left elbow under your right for eagle. And hold here for five breaths. Then uncross your arms and your legs and stand tall in mountain pose. All right, bring your right knee up and then stay there. Take your right big toe out in front of you. Let the left thigh bone draw back and down into the heel as you grow tall up over your ankle. Then change hands and twist. Take a hold of the outside of your foot or outside of your knee. Open up to your right. Look forward and raise your arms up. Hold that leg, stand tall. Good, lower your right leg to meet your left and release your arms to your side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, Ardha, flat back. Step back to down dog or take a vinyasa. Step your left foot all the way up by your left thumb. Then float your arms back behind you and hover your chest just above your knee. So the biceps turn out. As the left hip crease releases back, reach forward through the sides of your chest and your ribs. Then lean into it, lean into it, warrior three. And feel your right pinky toe turn down, the inner thigh spin up. Good, now without your foot touching the floor, come up to stand, bring your knee up, arms up. Steady, now bend the left knee and wrap your right leg up and over. Cross your right elbow under. Just five breaths here. And uncross the arms and the legs, stand in mountain. Good, right hand on your hip, bring your left knee up or take your left big toe up. Then change hands and twist. Look forward, raise your arms up, hold that leg out strong. Lift your chest up over the front of your right ankle and lower your leg down, release your arms at your side. All right, inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, Ardha, flat back. Exhale, fold even deeper. And squat down for crow pose. Hook your knees in your outer upper arms. And just practice leaning into your chaturanga arms. If you can just get like a second or two of hang time, that's great. Come down when you're ready or just hold for two more breaths. All right, then set your feet down and take Uttanasana. Straighten your legs, fold forward, let the head drop. Inhale, make a flat back. Step back to dog or take a vinyasa. All right, then from down dog, shift into plank and lie down onto your belly. Clasp your hands behind your back, 
Turn your shoulder blades onto your back and lift your head, chest, legs up off the mat. Locust pose, Shalabhasana. So just like at the beginning of class, feel the fronts of the thighs turn towards each other like you're still holding that block in between your thighs. Use the stretch of the arms, arms to help open the chest. And lower yourself back down. Take a breath. So that one's really good to strengthen your back muscles. Repeat that one, interlock the hands again, other index finger on top and go up. And you can stay there, or if you have the flexibility to, bend your knees and grab a hold of your ankles and hold in that one for five breaths. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once you get your feet, start to lift up through the shins and draw the shins back towards the wall behind you. And slowly lower yourself all the way back down. Good. Then come into Virasan, which is hero's pose. So you're gonna go into kneeling position. You can put a block for underneath your butt and between your feet if it's difficult to sit like that. But the feet go wide enough for the butts to fit in between, both of the butts. So then sit up tall here and twist to your right. Put your left hand to the outside of your knee, right hand behind you. And change sides. Right hand to the outside of the left knee, left hand behind you. If it feels like it's too much pressure on your knee to do this pose, you could just sit like me with your legs crossed instead, that's fine. All right, then come back to center and transition to lie down onto your back. Sweep your legs around. Lie down on your back, take your hands at your side, and take your legs straight up to the ceiling. Okay, so if your hamstrings are open enough to hold your legs straight up like this with your butt down, that's good, hold the legs straight up. If they're not flexible enough, then you could bend the knees and just do like tabletop position. Show them what that looks like, good. Okay, but we're gonna work with straight legs today, and then take your arms up and all the way overhead. So this is the hardest variation. To make it easier, keep your hands at your side so you can feel it in your core. But we're gonna work this variation and work on lengthening the spine and keeping the low abs engaged as you slowly lower your right leg. Go ahead, slowly lower just the right leg, but feel your lower belly turn on as that leg lowers, and then feel the whole spine get longer. Because remember, your core muscles are not just your six pack, it's the whole, all the erector spine A2, so feel those turn on bring the leg back up, and slowly lower the left leg. But feel the spine get longer as the leg lowers and feel the low abs turn on. Straighten the elbows, reach with the fingers, and bring that leg back up. Good, just 40 more. Lower the, just getting lower the right leg. We're gonna do a few more. Keep those abs on. Use the abs to bring the leg back up. Good, slowly lower the left leg. Stretch with the arms. Squeeze those abs. Leg back up, last round, slowly lower the right leg, abs turn on, back up, slowly lower the left, abs turn on, leg back up. Okay, you're doing good, so I wanna see if you can do both legs now. Lower both legs a third of the way, hold, squeeze those abs, and then lower another third of the way, maybe as long as you feel your abs turn on and your lower back lengthen, and then bring the legs straight back up. That was so good, we're gonna do it two more times, all right? Lower a third of the way, abs on, low back long. Another third of the way, hold those low abs in. Bring it back up. Good, last one. Lower a third of the way, stretch with the arms the other way, reach. Another third of the way, hold, tuck those abs in. Lower your legs straight up, I mean bring them back up, <laughs> and then crunch up to your knees, arms forward. Keep those legs up. Good, and hold. Now slowly lower the left leg halfway and the right leg to meet it. And hold for the last five, four, squeeze those low abs, three, crunch up one more inch, two, one and a half, one, and lower yourself all the way down. Whew, great job. All right, take your right arm out to the side. Well, actually, there's enough space. You could take both arms out to the side 
And then bend your knees, set your feet on the floor. Wrap your, cross your right knee over your left knee. Shift your hips over to the right a little bit and let your legs fall over to the left. So good it feels to twist after all that crunching. Bring your knees and your hips back to center. Change the cross of your legs. Shift the hips over to the left a little and let the knees fall over to the right. Allow your breath to feel, to help you feel the spine lengthen as you're twisting, especially through the tailbone. Then bring your knees and your hips back to center and hug your right knee in towards your chest as you stretch your left leg out along the floor. And change legs, left knee in, right leg out. And then take happy baby. Bring both knees in, reach onto the insides of your knees, grab a hold of the outsides of your feet. And then bring your legs back together and stretch your legs out for corpse pose, Shavasana. All right, so in corpse, just take your hands at your side, like maybe a foot away from your body, so you have a little bit of room for your armpits to breathe. Let the feet fall open, feet maybe a little bit wider than hip distance. Close your eyes. And just feel, so like when we practice yoga, we start off with the body feeling tight maybe, tight, real tight in some places. And when you practice, you're able to convert that tension blocked energy in your body, you're able to convert that tension into life force energy, into prana. So just feel in your body like the shift that goes down at the end of your practice. And then I want you to practice observing your breath moving through your body and just tuning into the sensation of the body being breathed. So when we take time to practice doing this regularly, it helps us to be more present, like in the moment, and le like less caught up in the drama of life. And like more tuned in into reality, instead of getting pulled around by passing thoughts in the mind. So just feel, feel the breath and feel the movement in the body as you relax here. And then bring your awareness back to your breath. Bend your knees and roll over to your right side. And press yourself up to seated. All right, so bring your palms together, sit up tall, and with your eyes closed, lower your head towards your heart. Lift your head and open the eyes. Thank you so much today for practicing. Namaste.